The title of this book is Super Red Riding Hood. Super Red Riding Hood, written by Claudia Davila. Not far from here, near a small forest, lives a girl named Ruby. Ruby's favorite color is red. She loves red berries, her red boots, and especially the red cloak her grandma made for her. When Ruby puts on her red cloak, she becomes Super Red Riding Hood. See here in the picture? A little girl has lost her doll. It's up in the tree. She cries out, my baby. Super Red Riding Hood flies off to get it. One sunny afternoon, Ruby was very busy playing superhero in her room when she heard her mother call from downstairs. Ruby! Is it something important, Mom? She called back. It sure is. Looks like Super Red Riding Hood has an important mission, Ruby declared. She was ready Super Red Riding Hood, reporting for duty. <laughs> she threw on her red cloak and grabbed her flashlight. A superhero must be prepared for anything. See, she slides down the banister. You've been indoors all day, her mother said. Why don't you go out and pick some raspberries to have with your snack? This did not sound like an important mission to Ruby, but she could see that her mom meant business. Ruby kissed her mom goodbye and set out along the path to the raspberry bushes. With her lunchbox in hand, the woods are Deep and dark and full of danger, Ruby said to herself. But Super Red Riding Hood is never scared. Ruby was marching along bravely when, oh no, Ruby's big red rubber boot almost crushed a tiny snail in the middle of the path. This is a dangerous place for a little snail, she said. Luckily, Super Red Riding Hood is here to rescue you. She carefully moved the little snail out of harm's way. A good deed done, she said. Ruby skipped toward the woods. Who's afraid of the deep, dark woods? The deep, dark woods. The deep, dark woods. Who's afraid of the deep, dark woods? Na, 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 not me, she sang.
When she got to the edge of the forest, she stopped and peered ahead. A chill drifted out from the shadowy darkness. A superhero must be silent like a cat and watch out for danger, Ruby whispered and tiptoed into the woods. The forest was full of strange noises. Hoo hoo, crack. It was a very good thing she had remembered to bring her flashlight. Owl, twig, woodpecker. She said aloud, shining her bright light toward the different sounds. Who's afraid of the deep, dark woods? The deep, dark woods, the deep, dark woods. Who's afraid of the deep, dark woods? Na, 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 not me, she sang as she walked. Before long, she came to a sunny clearing. Packed with raspberry bushes. She ran to fill her lunchbox. With juicy red berries. Mission accomplished, she said triumphantly. She was just snapping her lunchbox closed when she heard a new sound, a big, rumbly, growly, terrifying sound. Grrr. Ruby's tummy twisted in a knot. Her teeth began to chatter. A superhero must be brave, she reminded herself. Who's afraid of the... He towered over Ruby, looking frightful with his sharp claws, his yellow fangs, and his bushy tail, swishing from side to side. The wolf inched closer. Soon he was so close to Ruby She could feel his steamy breath on her face. Excuse me, I'd like to get by, Ruby said in a voice smaller than she would have liked. The wolf didn't move. He grinned and asked in a crackly growl. Where are you going all alone in this big, dark forest? Ruby narrowed her eyes and peered at the shaggy beast. Why do you want to know? Oh, um, just curious, I suppose. Maybe you can tell me this. What's in the box? Before she could answer, the wolf lunged, quick as a rabbit. 
Super Red Riding Hood hopped out of the way and used her super skills to leap and dart past the tricky wolf. She scrambled up an oak tree and perched on a branch just out of the wolf's reach. While she sat and caught her breath, the grumbly wolf skulked around the trunk of the tree. Ruby had had enough. Wolf! She called down, let me pass. But the wolf stayed put. Wolf, I'm going to count to five. You'd better leave me alone. The wolf still didn't move. One, Ruby said firmly. Two, Three, four. He could see that Ruby meant business. Okay, okay, I'll leave you alone. Ruby started climbing back down the tree, but then, growl, wolf? It's, it's my tummy, the wolf moaned. I'm just really hungry. Well, why didn't you say so? Ruby jumped out of the tree, her red cloak floating down behind her like a parachute. If you wanted some of my snack, you could have just asked, she said. The wolf looked at Ruby with a big, drooly smile. Okay, can I have some? He asked, holding out a paw. Ruby pulled her lunchbox out of the wolf's reach. Not so fast, wolf. You really scared me before, snarling at me with your big fangs and those sharp claws. The wolf's ears drooped. He looked at the ground. I'm sorry, he said. Ruby took a long look at the sad, hungry wolf. Ah, forget about it, she said at last. The wolf perked up. Please, he asked very politely. A superhero always helps those in need. So Super Red Riding Hood did what any superhero would do. She popped open her lunchbox and shared the juicy berries. As Ruby and the wolf snacked together under the big oak tree, Ruby remarked, I didn't know wolves liked raspberries. Oh, yes, said the wolf cheerfully. They're our favorite. The wolf sat thinking for a little while as he munched. I didn't know little girls could be superheroes, he said. Oh, yes said Ruby with a wide smile. 
We can. Ruby and the Wolf part ways. They say goodbye and Ruby heads home.